In motion, bowing. In motion, prayer absolute. In motion, prayer absolute. My presence comes in motion, bowing. My presence comes to thee. With heart humbly, with heart alive. My presence awakens to thee. With clear mind, with clear mind. My presence comes, my presence comes to know thee. With pity for thy with pity for thy suffering. My presence becomes aware of thee. With yearning, my presence wishes to comfort thee. My presence in ignorance. My presence serves thee. In contemplation, my presence recognizes how to serve thee. In mystery, my presence is a comfort to thee. In form and formlessness, my presence becomes thee. Step one is the physical, step two is the emotional, step three the intellectual, step four the real emotional, step five the real intellectual. But where is the retardation between me and Fa of the third and fourth step? So what is the Do of the next octave? In motion bowing, the comes to my presence humbly with heart alive. The awakens to my presence. And so on. This explains everything. So the next octave is just amazing. In motion bowing, thee comes to my presence, humbly with heart alive, thee awakens to my presence. With clear mind, thee comes to know my presence. With pity for thy suffering, thee becomes aware of my presence. With yearning, thee wishes to comfort my presence. In ignorance, thee serves my presence. In contemplation, thee recognizes how to serve my presence. In mystery, thee is a comfort to my presence. In form and formlessness, thee becomes my presence. Amen. prayer and the form of objective prayer and the substance of objective prayer and you have to realize objective prayer has taken many many forms uh, over the centuries thousands of centuries etc and uh, particularly uh, we see for instance of a group of people at a cafe and yet 
deep down underneath it, if you scratch the surface just a little, you'll find uh, an objective prayer um, condition. So we're trying to kind of give you an idea of how to see objective prayer. So I have a question for you. What, is obje what does objective prayer look like? And how is it done? And it's a trick question because it's the kind of question that I ask in my uh, painting classes, which is, what color is the sky? You can't think of a color that the sky doesn't happen to go to. At some point or another, the sky is going to be that color. Purple, green, red, orange, yellow, pink polka dots. It's all there. Provide energy upward, not to draw it down, not for themselves, not for their own personal use and needs and so forth, but to push it upward where it needs to go to get the energy up there. Isn't there, um, so didn't you say once that the, the hands in prayer? But that's prayer absolute. That's you. in a form. In a in form. Words, okay, got yeah. it. Okay. So I, yeah, yeah. I had introduced in 1978, I introduced prayer absolute in a particular form. And I did that with the time, place, and people in mind. Uh -huh. It has since that time become, what's the word, mummified. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and carved in stone. So I wanted to make sure that you understood that, for instance, you can have...